everyone. This is Grummer at home. How are you guys doing today? Um, today I'm going to make spaghetti squash. I'm not sure if a lot of people like it, but it's really good and it's really, really healthy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the spaghetti squash. You cut it in half, you clean it out, clean the seeds out. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on here. Okay. You're going to put your favorite seasoning. You can use, I like the veggie grill mix. So you're going to put a little bit on there or a lot. Okay. I like pepper, so I always add pepper. Okay. And this is a small piece, so it's probably going to go in for at least a half hour, maybe 45 minutes, no more than that. Some of the big ones, you know, you do have to make for like an hour because you want them nice and soft. Okay. So, and you want to make sure that you poke a bunch of holes in the bottom too with a knife or a fork. Okay. So this one is going to go into the oven. Okay. This one is already done. Let me just get this out of the way. Oh, turn it upside down. So it's going to kind of look like that. Just stick it in the oven. And if you're not in a rush, then put it on 300. Okay. All right. So basically, what we're doing is we're dressing this up. It's kind of like a twice baked potato. So I'm going to scoop this out. See how nice and soft it is? So you kind of like to scoop it out. You like yours crunchier, leave it in there a little bit longer. For some reason, crunchier tastes better. Okay, there we go. Okay. I'll take the rest out later. Let me just put this to the side so you kind of get the idea of that. Okay, just loosen it up a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your seasonings, anything you want. Onion, nice juicy tomato, peppers, some cilantro, some parsley, it got in there, some parsley, um, any kind of seasoning you want, whatever you like. Okay. All right, so let me get that out of the way. Like I said, I'm trying to make this really short and sweet so you, you don't get um, bored with my videos. You know, it's nothing worse than watching a video that's 45 minutes to an hour long of cooking. Makes me crazy, too. Okay, so that comes out like that. We're still not done yet. Don't go away. All right, now we all know, we all have this in the house from, uh, from the kids. So we have these little uh, packets from Taco Bell, Del Taco, hamburger places, whatever sauces you have. And the kids always bring home handfuls of these. And before you know it, you have a bucket full and you don't know what to do with them. So what I did was with the mild, took a little bit of the mild out. And that's what I put on, on this one here. The other one I didn't because I don't like the really, really spicy on mine. So this one here is a little bit spicier. It gives it a little bit more kick. So you just kind of like drizzle it on there, throw it in the oven, and that's it. Done. Okay. All right. So on this one here, on mine, I'm going to put cheese. Just kind of grate up, you know, whatever kind of cheese that you like. Monterey Jack, a pepper jack, mozzarella. American cheese? Whatever your flavor is. Okay. So on this one here... I'm just going to put a little bit of more sauce in here just to give it a kick. Okay. It's kind of like just a spaghetti sauce. Or you can do spaghetti sauce too. 
salsa, whatever you want to dress this up with. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of cilantro in here. Um, it was only probably like three twigs of it because this is this is a small piece and you don't want the cilantro to over, overtake the taste. Okay. There you go. Now this makes a nice side dish, you know, with your chicken, your uh, meat, your pork, fish, what, you know, whatever you like, or you could just eat it the way it is with a side of veggies. There you go. So nice that came out. There we go. I'll get a hang of this camera stuff. There we go. How's that? Okay. So if I was going to use cheese on this one here, I would have put it back into here and then put the cheese on it and throw it in the oven for a couple couple minutes until the cheese is melted. But this one is not going to have cheese. So it's very simple, that one there. All right, so that's that on that side there. Okay, I mean, like I said, I'm trying to make this one, you know, really easy recipe. Um, all said and done, by the time you cut it, clean it, put it in the oven, get it on the table, probably less than an hour. So it's like bing, bang, boom, one, two, three. Then you're done. Okay, all right. What else did I wanna do today? Okay, so let me just get all this out of the way. Never organized. I don't think anybody is at home. I'm not perfect. Okay. So I wanted to do grandma's tip of the day. Some of the things that I look at and the tips of the day, some of them are really strange. Okay. But, you know, every now and then you find some good ones, which is really good. I never use this, and I do have a box of um, Alka-Seltzer in the cabinet, so I'm going to try this and see what happens. If, if this is cheaper than buying all those other products, then I'm going to try it. Okay, Alka-Seltzer. Okay. Cleans the toilet. Drop two Alka-Seltzer tablets, wait 20 minutes, and flush and, flush and brush. Okay, give it a try. Yeah, 20 minutes and it's a lot cheaper than um, buying those toilet bowl cleaners and all those other tablets, which only last, if you got kids, you know, five flush. You know, some of them say 2,000 flushes. And I'm like, well, 2,000 flushes? It should last, in my house, it'll last, you know, a while. But 2,000 flushes, it's gone and like I said, 10, 15, 20 minutes. The only time I throw them in is when I'm having company, you know, to make my bathroom look pretty. <laughs> okay, and the next one is to clean a vase. Okay, it's supposed to remove the stains from the bottom of the glass or the crust filled with water and then drop it in two aqua seltzer tablets. Okay, there's a lot of times that we can't get the crust out of the, the vase, which is true, and, you know. A few times you just put in some colored water so, so people wouldn't see the brown on the bottom. Okay, well, let's try the Alka-Seltzer. Okay, um, the clean thermal bottles and those plastic bottles. Okay, fill the bottle up with water, drop in four Alka-Seltzers, and let it soak for hours, longer if needed. Okay, so some of those um, um, cups like Starbucks and... Some of the other ones that are coffee cups, they always get kind of like that brown inside. So let's try the alka salsa. Okay, remove burns on grease from pots and pans. Okay, fill the pot up with water. Put in six alka salsa tablets. Let it soak for one hour, then scrub as usual. Okay, well, I'll give it a try. Every now and then you have something stick to the bottom of the pan. This we burnt it or we didn't we weren't watching. I know I have a few times. And I know everybody else out there has too, so don't tell me you never burnt anything, because we all did. Okay. Unclogging a drain. Clear the drain by dropping in three alka down the drain, followed by a cup of 
white vinegar. Wait a few minutes and run some hot water. Okay. That's a good one too. Okay, let me see. And okay, this is for for insect bites. Dissolve two apple seltzer tablets in a glass of water. Dip a cloth into the solution. Place the cloth on the bite for 20 minutes. Okay, that's a good one too. You know, that's always good like to throw a couple apple seltzers in the car. And when you're taking the kids to the park and you never know, you're going to get stung by a bee or some kind of crazy bug. They're going to bite you. Hey, you got the apple seltzer, you got the water. You know, you got always, everybody always has tissues in the car. So that's perfect. So throw some alka seltzer in the car. You never know when you're going to need it. You might even need it for yourself too. Because for some reason, they're always biting me. I, I, I don't know why. I get those biting flies. I, I get everything. Okay, well, that's kind of it for the tip of the day. So get the alka seltzer. Use it. Kind of like go online and, and, you know, Google and see, you know, what other things Alka-Seltzer can use? I think Alka-Seltzer, you could probably, you know, buy like the generic Alka-Seltzer in um, the 99 cent store. Try one of those. Like I said, some of them have what, you know, 20, 30, 60 tablets in there. And that'd be a lot cheaper than buying, like I said, some of those toilet roll cleaners and other cleaners. Trust me. Every time you turn around, the prices of those cleaners keep going up. And sometimes even with the coupon, it's still not cheap. Okay, I just want to um, call attention to you know some of my um, Facebook friends out there that um, my friend Lisa is going to be on QVC tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and she does sell the um, fusion belts, which I do too. I do a lot of running races. Okay, so I just want to show you some of them. Um, if you don't have time to watch her show, I mean, if you can record it, please. Um, but I do sell them, so you can message me if, if you like, or you can buy them from the website. Okay, well, this here is the new Annie Fanny Pack. Okay, you're just going to put it on. Okay, zipper it up, and you're out and about to go. This is a small one. I need a little bit bigger. Let me find a bigger one. Okay, this one here is a ladybug one. This is like really cute, one of my favorites. Okay. So you're gonna just zipper it up. It has two pockets, one in the front and one in the back. You can use it for anything, shopping. Um, you're going on a vacation, your passport. You're gonna take your phone. I have a really big phone with the case on it. So you're gonna put it Sorry, my phone doesn't go that way. Okay, so you're gonna put that in there. Okay, your car keys, um, anything. You're going grocery shopping. Any kind of event that you wanna to go to. Um, it's great when you're going on the plane because now you have extra pockets so you can put some more stuff in. Because you know now they're charging for everything. So that's a great, great one for vacationing and on the plane. Okay. Now, that like I said, they come in all different colors. They're really easy, easy on, easy off. They come in all different colors, so you can kind of match. I mean, there's the blue. You can kind of match with all your colors. Okay. And then if, you know, you're a sports person, you're out running, jogging, this is really great. It really holds up good when you're running, you know. So it doesn't really bounce. So you, you're okay. So, and it's good because, you know, you can have your phone. You can have your um, your wires for your phone, your earplugs, brain freeze, sorry. Um, your car keys are here, your your money, everything is right here as you're running. And then, like I said, you can use your gook and all those little snacky things when you're running. Because sometimes you just don't want to, you just want to run and just eat as you're running. Especially if you're running a marathon. You don't have time. Now, these are really big pockets. Really, really big. So I don't know if you can see my hands, but it's big. So I'm going to show you something right now. Okay, I only got one water bottle out. I don't want to run into the other room. So this is kind of like a just, you know, not a small medium uh, water bottle, but kind of like a medium. It's a water bottle. So you're out running. You have your water. 
you're okay. So, sorry, I'm being silly <laughs> and goofy. So if it's a water bottle, it's like I said, you have plenty of room in here. I mean, you're out and about with the kids. Um, the kids are always picking up something, especially out nature, you know, hiking or something. They always find these rocks and it's like mom's always got the rocks in her pockets. So this would be great, okay? And you can carry the kids' snacks out there too. So that's another one. So the Run 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 is really pretty. It matches every outfit that you have. Okay, the black, that's kind of neutral. The black is kind of like one of my favorites. It matches with everything, everything. And this is great for older people too because it kind of blends in with your clothes. Really can't show it, but it, it'll blend in with your clothes and then you just put a shirt over it and all your money, your ID and everything's protected. So as a senior, this is a really great product and it comes in sizes um, X small to triple four. So there's plenty of room in there, like I said, and it's stretchy. So you have plenty of room if you just want to do it. And if you just don't want to wear it out where people can see it, like I said, just cover it up. It's underneath your body and this is great for vacation. You go into the islands, your passport is there. Um, you don't have to worry about getting pickpocket. If you get pickpocket, guess what? You're getting back on that boat because your ID, your passport, there's everything there. If you want to steal the purse, let them steal it. Okay. And this one here is another one. It kind of reminds you of the hippie days back in there. So she, all the older people out there, you remember? Back in, you know, the late 60s, early 70s, or maybe some of the early 60s. But this is kind of like a fun one, too. So if you just want to have fun and have fun colors, like I said, it matches with everything. Yeah, I got the blue shirt. It's just, and then you just cover it up. So it's kind of like a part of your, your clothing. Like I said, we have pink, we have blue, we have zebra. There's tons of colors, please. Um, check out, you know, QVC tomorrow. Um, go to the website or just, you know, message me on my, you know, Grandma at Home um, Facebook page, and we can talk, and um, we can do a video chat, and I can show you all the colors I have and sizes I have. So please, you know, give us a call, and don't forget to watch tomorrow. Like I said, these are really, really great, very comfortable, very lightweight, and these are the new, new fanny packs, okay? They're a designer fanny pack, so much better. Okay, so that's that for, for now. Um, you guys have a nice day. It's been a little bit of windy here in, in Las Vegas. It's probably about between 50 and 60 degrees. I know some of you guys are, I've been online with you and you guys are frozen. Okay. Um, so really that's, that's the thing for today. I don't want to hold you guys up because I know a lot of people have, you know, things to do, dinner time, kids to take care of. Um, Okay, so you guys enjoy yourself, and I will see you guys um, probably Monday. Sunday, I'm going to take the day off, unless I decide to cook something. But I have enough of leftovers that tomorrow it's going to be leftover day. Okay? All right, you guys enjoy, and please go in, um, like my page, share my page. Um, have fun with Grandma. That's what grandmas do. Okay? Bye, guys. <laughs>